Hello everybody. So, welcome to my studio. Um, yesterday I did a lot of organizing. <coughs> Give me a moment. Last night I did a lot of organizing and um, fixed... I can't freaking talk. <laughs> Last night my studio was a mess. So I decided to make things a little bit more efficient and to organize and I did a couple things that have made my life a lot easier in my studio within the past couple months. So I'm going to take you through my finally practically full decorated studio here and I'm going to show you things that have made things 100% easier. So let's do it. First off, we're going to start with the tour. So this is actually a spare bedroom, and that's why there is a bunk bed in here. Ignore the mess up there. These are other paintings I'm working on. Um, so I would say the main thing is um, I got my diploma here. I got a painting that I'm going to work on eventually. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I like having my paintings up on the wall just so I can think about it longer and imagine what the potential could be. I got a lot of these big hangers here so that I can hang up my camera bag and I usually hang up my, my uh, what do you call this, an apron. And I like seeing this out because the paint on it is just so gorgeous. I got a painting here that you're not allowed to see yet because I'm about to post it. Here is actually a piece of metal that my boyfriend found and we decided to cut it up and frame it so that I can magnetize these little mini paintings to it. And these are for sale if anyone is interested. Uh, I'll put up a post soon. Maybe I should even make an Etsy page. But uh, yeah, and these are just little painting studies that I did just for fun, just to know what kind of um, subject matter and technique I like to use. Like this one right here, I liked a lot and got a lot of compliments on it. So I decided to make a bigger version with a little bit more detail. So when I have guests staying here, they can check out my art. I can mention that they're for sale and a lot of them have sold and I've made a few commissions off them also. Alright, so here is my main painting section. So I have this uh, carry fold down kind of like plein air uh, easel. I usually just keep it in my room though. And this is something I want to work on eventually. This is actually some kind of like soft velvet with acrylic paint on it. And I'd like to start making some patches of uh, you know the anatomy and the bones of certain animals. Uh, yeah, these are some paintings that are not done, but they're pretty close. So I work mainly in oil, so I have my tall teen, I have oil, and this hand moisturizer stuff that actually helps protect your hands from all the chemicals. I have a fan here facing the window so that it actually blows out all the air because you need ventilation with this stuff. This stuff is so toxic. Whoops. <laughs> Um, I guess this thing wanted to say something. So this is a little, uh, a little easel thing that I have. I usually put my iPad on it when I'm working on things, just so that it's right in my face. I have all of my, uh, palette knives. I have all of my brushes from small, medium to large to kind of like my scrapers and all of that stuff. This is actually just a, uh, a bathroom organizer from the dollar store. And this is an old cork board that I had, and I saw people hang up their paintings, or hang up their paints with uh, clips, and it just makes the room look so much more colorful, and then I don't have to go down into this freaking garbage mess and dig around and hurt my back trying to dig out paints when I can just see it right in front of me, and I know exactly how much is in each one, depending on how much it is rolled down and crimped like this. To get all of your paints out of your tube, I have this little thing here. It probably cost me about 40 bucks, but it's a little clamp and it gets absolutely everything out. So yeah, I don't like to waste money. But yeah, I got my chemicals down there. I got some spray paint, some acrylic paint. Uh, this is kind of 
a little kit for when I do murals for cleanup and uh, just kind of like a holding station. I got all of my uh, tarps, canvases that I want to work on. Got all my sketchbooks down here, sewing stuff, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so yeah, if we work over, I got another little thing here. This is for like when I staple, when I need wood glue, when I need random wire and crafty things. Uh, these are old paintings that aren't finished or need something done to them. These are actually just old studies, but they're pretty great. I should keep this one out. I like this one. Uh, fabric that I want to work with and add to jackets and whatnot. So recently, I added a lot of these gorgeous plants just to kind of make the room brighter, to keep me happier. And this one right here, the snake plant, is actually really good for filtering air, so I figured it'd be good right next to my paintings. And, uh... Yeah, it just kind of brightens up the place. I actually got these little things from uh, the dollar store and I just like how it reflects and it just makes everything just super cute and it makes me want to hang out here more. This is a little bell thing I found from Valley Village and I fixed up this disco ball and I hung it off this so whenever the sun comes in around noon, it really just brightens the whole place up. It's freaking gorgeous. Whoops! Moving on, onward. So this is where my editing happens, my manifestation board type stuff. Um, so I guess we'll start at the top here. So this is old works that I've done. This is kind of a comic book that's been in my mind for a long time. These are little doodles that I used to do. This is like an art and education notes for a later video swatches, uh, dream sketches, that type of thing. I have a whiteboard for when I need to remember something. I actually painted this. It used to be white and then I made it uh, look rusty. I love like the patina look. It's just spot on. Um, more dream themes, sketches. Oh, I did this last night. So... These are things that I use on the daily, rulers, scissors, uh, compass to make circles, a ruler. So I, really, I wanted it to have a very specific place and to make it look very neat. So I took all my main things and I sketched them out. So I know exactly where they should go and everything looks clean and organized. Yeah. Um, this is my manifestation board, things I want to achieve in the future. My calendar, just so I know important dates and deadlines. Uh, again, this is just kind of to fill up space, but it's kind of a potential, just something to keep me thinking. Um, and these are a lot of just more doodles to keep me inspired, some pictures, whatnot. Uh, I have this little hand clamp because my wrists... Uh, I got a bit of, a little bit of wrist issues, so when I'm just sitting around or watching something, I work on my wrist strength. Uh, I got this lamp, it's nice and bendable, and it's at a perfect height for when I do vlogs, videos, that type of thing. I got my markers here, they're all just cheap ones, and I actually had to label all of them. To what color they were because the caps weren't true to what they said but I like to use this for journaling and just making notes uh, I have a lot of candles in my studio because I don't like I don't want the smell of paint and it just it's it's like a nice little ceremony thing to do hand moisturizer because my hands get really cracked and dry in here other little random things like wings and bugs and blah blah blah, blah. Um, I have these little books just in case I want to read, and I just like having the words there staring me in the face. Um, that tape that everyone likes to use. Uh, I kind of use it, not that much, but it's nice to have. Clips, because I use them everywhere all the time when I'm drawing. And then I have a bunch of hanging things and tacks and whatnot. I have a little candle there. I sometimes light it. Um... Just, again, for another ceremony purpose. And this is a, another painting that I did a while ago. 
and I like having it here just because it looks like I'm looking at the computer and pondering. This is my laptop. Yes, of course, it's Apple, not sponsored. Um, I got my stickers on it, and uh, I like lucid dreaming, so this is kind of a, um, a reality check. I look at my tattoos whenever I'm you know, awake and just, it's, it's a good way to, if you're into lucid dreaming, to get into it a little bit faster. And my Hayao Miyazaki sticker. So on the side here, I got all of my digital stuff, all of my hard drives, my projector, all of my, uh, you know, little USBs and things. And this one I have all of my, I have glue. I use that a lot for journaling, so I don't, I don't know why it's there though. Um, aux cord, all of my, you know, my memory cards for my camera when I videotape and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And one of the newest things that I got just from Amazon is called Ugreen. It's this little arm that just, oh my god, this has made everything so much easier. So now I can record what is happening on my desk as I'm drawing or doodling or uh, vlogging, whatever I need to do and it just tucks away so nicely. It was probably like, I feel like, I can't remember, 15 to 30 bucks on Amazon? Amazing though. And the other day, I taped all these up so I can, you know, have them right in my face and eventually get them done, but these are a few more little studies. I have this thing out, it's an old kitchen door, but I kinda wanna use it to put paint on so that I can directly paint right there. Um, this is kind of like a big drafting table. So there is a lot of junk underneath it. A lot of watercolor, glue, tape, uh, chocolate, coffee chocolate to keep me going. Um, inks, business cards, sharpeners, sticky notes, photos, and random things that I haven't figured out what to do with yet. Um, I got my journal there, I have all of my pencils, pens, big markers, sharpies, um, a couple little tools that I occasionally use, and then I got all of these markers, I don't really use them too often, but just to have out the color and if I'm ever doodling and just need something to draw with. And then I got tissues in case I need to blow my nose, of course. All right, so underneath, there's a couple things. I got my garbage right there. So I used to cross my legs a lot whenever I was sitting, and I'm noticing it's starting to cause problems. So if you do the same thing, get one of these back rollers and just use it to rest your feet on because I know when I'm editing for a long time, I get really... Uh, anxious and I need to either cross my legs or fidget or something so this is a great way to get some blood flow to your feet and to um, not get you know clogged blood vessels in your legs or what do they call it spider veins yeah so another thing I do is I have all these plugs and outlets and uh, one of the cords that I use a lot is this to charge my camera that I'm using right now so I put it through one of these clamps here, just so that it's always dangling so I don't have to go through the floor and dig around and dig through all that mess. So that is, that's a good one. And I have more storage under here of paintings that I want to do something with. I got books that I'm reading. I got uh, packaging stuff for when I send out commissions. I got an old frame, uh, bubble wrap, more tarps, all that stuff. And under here is like fabric and things that I kind of do. I got a yoga mat for when I just really need to take a break and stretch. Uh, I got a speaker that I won for Christmas at a Bad Santa trading thing. It lights up. It's so nice. But yeah, I use that occasionally when I want my music to be a little bit louder. I got all of my sketchbooks from big, small to medium and whatnot. And I got my book bag full of tattoo kit stuff, just in case someone wants a tattoo. I 
I used to have a chair with a back, but I found that it made me very lazy and lean back, so I found this works a lot better for my posture. And uh, yeah, it just gets out of my way faster. It's nice and rolls around, and I don't have to. Whoop, I don't have to mess around with it and figure out where the back is and mess with all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, the main things are just, you know, keeping, taking care of your body, having things that you need close by, like always having a drink close by, uh, having that coffee chocolate in my desk actually helps. You know, having stuff like this to fidget around with when you're editing or taking a break or something. So, I believe that is it. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's going to help you out a lot in your studio to keep you motivated to keep you staying in your studio because honestly the only reason I wanted to not be in my studio is because it was unorganized it was dirty it was it was a working space but it wasn't a living space so I found the plants helped a lot to keep me in here because I had to feed them, I had to check up on them, I have to groom them, and it just adds a lot more color and life and it filters out the air and that makes me feel a lot better. So yeah, I really hope these tips helped you out. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video. Bleh.